So we'll sing the song from the Vaishnava song book. Ohe Vaishnava Thakur. Page 59. Ching Niman Panda Ushijoya.
，请仁慈的对待您这个仆人，用您莲花族的影子净化我。我谦卑的捧着您的莲花族。Controlling my six urges and purifying me of the six faults, please give to your servant the six qualities. Oh, give me the six kinds of holy association. I have sat down here in the hope of having your company. The six urges are those of speech, the mind, anger, the tongue, the belly, and the genitals. Number one, e, the six urges. E look at. Yes. Got it? 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 六种冲动，六六种冲动分别是说话、心意、愤怒、舌头、肚腹和生殖器的冲动。The six faults are overeating or collecting more monetary funds than required, over endeavoring for material objectives, unnecessary talking about mundane affairs, being too attached or too neglectful. Of scriptural rules and regulations, associating with worldly-minded persons, and lusting after mundane achievements. 六种错误分别是：过度进食或搜集超过实际需要的贵贵重物品，为物质的目标而过度努力，不必要的谈论尘世的世界，过度执着于经典中描述的仪式和规定，或太忽视它们。The six good qualities are enthusiasm, patience, confidence, the determination to perform activities favorable to devotional service, the resolution to abandon the association of non-devotees, and the discipline required to always follow. In the footsteps of previous acharyas. 六种美好的品质分别是热情、信心、耐心、从事规范化的奉爱服务活动、停止与非奉献者联谊，以及以前辈临近导师为榜样。Okay, now number three. Alone. I find I have no strength to chant the holy name of Lord Hari. I beg you, therefore, please be merciful, and with a particle of faith, give me the great treasure of the holy name of Krishna. 独自一人时，我发现自己没有力量吟诵吟唱哈尔一的圣名，请仁慈待我，祝福我有点滴的信心，把 Krishna 圣名的宝藏赐予。Krishna is yours. You have the power to give him to me, for such is your power. I am indeed wretched and simply run after you, crying, Krishna, Krishna. Krishna is yours. You can give him to me. This is your power. 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 Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. 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 Oh.
satim vyasam Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 10, Chapter Number 62, Text Number 27. Just 
this. Charius explained that the word anapiyabi can mean either never going away or never deluding. Also, if we take the alternative reading, dushprekshyaya, instead of dushprekshyaya, where the guards refer to Usha as, as she whose wicked girlfriend has been sent on a mission. Okay? Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Rabu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadara Sri Vasati Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Krishna, Krishna. 
And Chitraleka, this girl, the friend was called Chitraleka. She could, she had mystic powers. And she flew into Dwarka. And she brought Krishna's grandson. And she brought Krishna's grandson to the palace where Usha was living. She brought Krishna's grandson into the palace where Usha lived. Because Usha had been dreaming about this Aniruddha. And in her dream, she had fallen in love with this young man. So then, uh, and so Aniruddha was brought to the palace, and he was very happy to meet Usha. And Usha was a very, uh, she was very devoted to Aniruddha. And she served him very nicely. She spoke very sweet words to him. And she brought him flower garlands. And nice food stuff. But other people in the palace, they didn't know that this Aniruddha had come there. But they saw some change in Usha. They could see that Usha must be having some relationship with a man. They could tell she was very happy. So they understood she was having some kind of affair with a man. So the servants who were supposed to be guarding Usha, they went to her father. 
哦，呃，这个乌舍的仆人就去他的父亲啊面、呃、面前说一些东西。Because the servants were supposed to be protecting the girl. Protecting. They should be looking after the girl. They should be protecting her. 啊，那这个这些仆人都，他的这样人都是应该是去保护乌舍的。And no men were allowed to come near her. They, they would keep the girls until the time of the marriage. They would keep the girls away from all the men. But they could see that Usha had changed. And they were surprised that how is it possible? How could she get involved with a man? Because they didn't know any man had entered into the palace. So they went to Usha's father and told him. So they went to Usha's father and told him. So, mm. so, uh, what will be the next verse? Text number 28. Uh, Very agitated to hear of his daughter's corruption, Banasura rushed at once to the maiden's quarters. There he saw the pride of the Yadus, Anirudh. Vanasura 听到女儿的堕落非常不安，立即冲向少女的住处。她在那里看到了雅鲁的骄傲，阿尼鲁达，要职，要职。没有，没有，没有。Go read the next verse, twenty-nine and thirty. Banasura saw before him Cupid's own son, possessed of unrivaled beauty. With dark blue complexion, yellow garments, lotus eyes, and formidable arms. His face was adorned with effulgent earrings and hair, and also with smiling glances. As he sat opposite his most auspicious lover, playing with her at dice, there hung between his arms a garland of spring jasmine that had been smeared with kumkum powder from her breasts when he had embraced her. Banasura was astonished to see all this. Banasura saw Chubita's son in his face, and he had a beautiful face, 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 被闪亮的耳环和头发，以及微笑的撇饰装饰着。他坐在他至为吉祥的爱人的对面，正同他玩骰子。他的两臂，他的两臂间悬挂着一串春茉莉花环，上面涂满了他拥抱他时从他胸前蹭到的昆马痕啊，昆昆马痕。巴纳苏拉看到这一切，非常的震惊。Purport, Banasura was amazed at Aniruddha's boldness. The prince was calmly sitting in the young girl's quarters, playing with Bana's supposedly unmarried daughter. In the context of the strict Vedic culture, this was an unbelievable thing to witness. Banasura, Aniruddha's <laughs> 年轻女孩的住处，同巴纳想象中未婚的女儿玩耍，在严格的尾巴传统的环境中，见到这情景是一件难以置信的事。
So, uh, Banasura has come and he's to see, to see his daughter and he's really, it's really a shock to him to see his daughter in this condition. You have to speak into the mic because, but there's people in the kitchen, they're supposed to. So Aniruddha, of course, is a, he's a very handsome, very attractive young man. And he is uh, very qualified to, to make a suitable husband for the girl. But the very culture was such that these marriages are arranged, not that they just happen so spontaneously. And the parents will arrange for the marriage of the daughter. We read about how Manu brought Devahuti to marry Kardama. Uh, Manu, Manu brought his daughter Devahuti, Devahuti into the forest to marry a great yogi. Named Kardama Muni. So the marriage was arranged by the father. But here, Usha is already having a relationship with the man without her father's knowledge. So it's a great shock to his father, to the father, to see that his daughter is having an illicit relationship. So, so he's very angry. The, the great, so, you know, the father wants to take care, like to see the daughter protected. And the chastity of the girl, of the daughter, is very important. But here you can see Usha has lost her chastity. Now the father is seeing the situation. So, how, what, how, how, what's he going to do? And in the Vedic society, women were not given any freedom. And particularly in the family of kings. So Usha is the daughter of a powerful king. Bana was a powerful king. So they're very careful about how they arrange the marriages. You see, when the royalty will marry, when the royal families have a wedding, it's a very big affair. So here's Bana's daughter already having an illicit relationship. 
and he's, he's, the father comes into the room and the boy Aniruddha is quite calm, he's not worried at all about it. He's not disturbed. Yeah, he's very calm and peaceful. Playing dice with the girl. And describe the garland from the garland you can see that he has been embracing the girl. But the young man is sitting quite calmly. <laughs> the father is coming. What? Who's this with my daughter? So uh, it's a big shock. So how is he going to respond? So we'll read a bit more. Text number 31. Seeing Banasura enter with many armed guards, Aniruddha raised his iron club and stood resolute, ready to strike anyone who attacked him. He resembled death personified, holding his rod of punishment. Purport, the, the club was not made of ordinary iron, but of a special kind called Muru. So Anirud is described, he is the, the, not only the gra grandson of Krishna, but his father, Prajuna, was Cupid. Prajuna is Cupid, the father. Prajuna is the father of Anirudha. Prajuna is Cupid. I said, 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 I I and when Banasura comes with all of his soldiers, and of course they're immediately ready to arrest Aniruddha. So Aniruddha is ready to fight. And it's described that he carried some iron club. So, you know, somehow, although he'd been brought there in the night, Chitraleka had carried him there in the night. And it appears like Aniruddha was sleeping and, and, and the Chitraleka went to Dwarka, brought him by a yoga power secretly, without him knowing it, and brought him to the palace. Oh, uh, sorry, what's the Chitraleka. But somehow Aniruddha has his weapon there, has his club. And so he's ready to fight. 
even though he's outnumbered by many, there's many, many soldiers also. But he's a Kshatriya. He's ready to fight. He's not afraid. He's ready to fight everyone. Text 32. As the guards converged on him from all sides, trying to capture him, Aniruddha struck them just as the leader of a pack of bear, boars strikes back at dogs. Hit by his blow, the guards fled the palace, running for their life with shattered heads, thighs, and arms. 一文当警卫从四殿围攻试图逮住他时安尼鲁达就像安尼鲁达就像一群野猪的头领击退狗群被他打击袭中警卫们逃出宫殿带着被打破的头腿胳膊逃奔走逃命 so Aniruddha is a great hero in battle. And he, even though he, so many soldiers are attacking him, he's ready to fight them all. And, and many of the the people attacking him were afraid and they turned and ran away. <laughs> but ma many were also injured and some were killed. So, in text 33, but even as Aniruddha was struck down, the army of Bana was struck down but even as Aniruddha was striking down the army of Bana, that powerful son of Bali angrily caught him with the mystic Nagapasha ropes. When Usha heard of Aniruddha's capture, she was overwhelmed with grief and depression. Her eyes filled with tears and she wept. <laughs> 但就在安尼鲁达击倒巴纳的军队之时，巴利有力的儿子愤怒地用他神秘的拿嘎帕萨绳索逮住了他。当乌沙听说了安尼鲁达的被俘，他被痛苦和颓丧所压倒，眼中
Yeah, they bring many dogs. They ride horses. It's very common in England. The, you know, the, the rich people ride horses and they have big packs of dogs and they will go and hunt a little fox or something. You get the animal rights people, they all come. The people who are, you know, the ones who protect the animals, they don't like killing animals. So they all come and they protest, you know, stop this, don't do this. Yeah. 在现在的保护动物的人他就去保护动物所以他们就不允许他们去森林去打猎抗议抗议对抗议他们就去抗议了就是像香港香港香港一样去抗议 don't like this, stop this. So the the boars the, the these boars are fight they fight the dogs. When the dogs come, these boars we fight the dogs. And sometimes the dogs will get ripped to pieces by the sharp horns of the pigs. And the dogs get all injured, and the, the, the people will pick the dogs up and carry them back to get. Because they love their dogs. They don't like the pigs, they love the dogs. <laughs> they want to kill the pigs and kill the foxes, but they love dogs. So they're not e they're not they don't have the vision of equality. They're not equal to everyone. So uh, it's described here how Banas, Bana, he is very powerful and he has this pat, the, the snake weapon, snake ropes, the Naga Pashu. Oh, Bana is a very special weapon. Called the Naga Pasha. Naga Pasha. It means the snake rope. Snake. Yeah, like a snake, you know, just like snakes, they can bind you up. There's a big snake called a python. Python. The name is python. It, it, it get, goes around you very fast. And it will, and it will Press you so hard you can't breathe, you know, mm. crush your bones. So this Nagapashu, this the snake weapon, the snake rope is like that. Tied up, you can't move. <laughs> so they, this Banasura, he captured the Aniruddha. And Usha, she, she's, she's there and she knows what's happening. She's crying. So you see, the result of passion always ends in distress. Passion, the result of passion. Oh, passion. Uh, uh, passion. So Usha is unhappy. 
。我小时候很不开心嘛。Before she was so happy, she was so happy, she was so, so pleased. Now she's crying. She's 之前她是很开心啊，很取悦的，但是现在她很伤心啊，她在哭了。So it's mentioned here that actually, Vana should never have been able to capture any. Vana, Vana Sura should not have been able to defeat. He should not be because Anirudh is the grandson of Krishna, so he's Vishnu Tattva. He is not an ordinary person. Um, we can. Now, here we can see that Anirudh is Krishna's son, but he is also defeated. So he has the strength of the Vishnu Tattva. So he is the power of Krishna. 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 因为在这里，呃，描述了，因为他要有一些事情发生了，就是在这里。对，因为之后是一个很特别的呃逍遥时光发发发生了，所以就被他现现在被他打破了。之后。哦，最后就是说，佩什纳怎么带他的工具来了 ？Because his grandson is being put a prisoner. 哦，因为他的孙子就呃关牢，是关被关牢了。So Krishna has to come. 所以 Krishna 就要来了。Get him free. 把他救呃救出来。But Bana has got his army. 但是巴鲁要带他的工具来。And he's got Lord Shiva to protect him. 他带了 Shiva 来保护他。So it's going to be a great fight. 哦，所以之后就一个很大的呃打仗。Krishna will come with his army and all of his family to fight. 哦 ，Krishna 就他带的工具军队军队来。And she and Shiva will fight for Banasura. 他就跟巴鲁苏尔打仗。And Shiva's got his sons also. 他带他的儿子来。Ganesh. Ganesh，Kartikeya，啊，还有Kartikeya两个儿子也来。他们一起来打仗。So a great battle will take place。很大的很大的战场。战争。战争。This is all arranged for the pleasure of Krishna。哦，这个都是因为Krishna的安排了